Hello my little Willy. In today's tutorial you will learn how to knit the diamond brocade stitch pattern. Another classic of the knitting world. This is a gorgeous stitch made of a combination of knits and pearls. This is the other side of the work that looks so interesting to me too. It doesn't curl, it lays flat and I think it's great for a blankie, for example. But if you're thinking about it, it's better to add a nice edge, maybe in seed stitch to match the diamonds. I don't know, it's up to you, but I would add an edge on each side of the blanket, for example. Easy to knit, as I said, just knits and pearls, and I think it's lovely. So grab your needles, a little bit of yarn, and let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on multiples of 8, let's say 8 times 2, 16, plus 1, 17, plus 2 selvage stitches. So I'm going to cast on 19 stitches. First row, right side of the work. We're going to knit the first and the last stitch on each row. Those are the selvage stitches. So we start with knit one. And now comes the repeat, what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find all of my patterns on my website, sowoolly.net. And there is a link for you below this video on the description box. So the repeat is purl one, net seven, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. And now we can place a marker because it's a long repeat and eight stitches repeat. So if you lose count, it's easy to go back. So let's do it again. Four, one, net seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are only two stitches left, ending with four one, and knit the last one. But only on this first row, I like to work it through the back loop. So you can avoid a huge loop there. Second row, we start with knit one, pour one. And now comes the repeat. Knit one, pour five, one, two, three, four, five, net one, pearl one. Slip the marker if you are using it and let's do it again. Net one, pearl five, one, two, three, four, five, knit one, purl one. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is only one stitch left, ending with knit one. Okay, row three. 
We start with knit one, our salvage stitch, and now comes the repeat. Knit two, one, two, pour one, knit three, one, two, three, pour one, and knit the last. Slip the marker and repeat. Knit two, one, two, pour one, knit three, one, two, three, pour one, knit one. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are only two stitches left, ending with knit one and knit the last. Row four. We start with knit one, pour one, and now comes the repeat. Pour two, Knit, purl, knit, knit, purl, knit, purl three. One, two, three. And repeat. Purl two. Two, knit, purl, knit, purl three, one, two, three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with knit one. Row five. We start with knit one, and now comes the repeat. Knit four, one, two, three, four. Pour one, knit three, one, two, three. Slip the marker and repeat. Knit four, one, two, three, four, pour one, knit three, one, two, three. So keep repeating until there are only two stitches left, ending with knit one and knit the last. Now, row six, as per row four, knit one, pull one, and now comes the repeat, pull two, one, two, knit, pull, knit, pull three. One, two, three. Slip the marker and repeat. Purl two. One, two. Knit. Purl. Knit. Purl three. One, two, three. And keep repeating until there is only one stitch left, ending with knit one. Row seven, as per row three. 
This is great because we are repeating rows. There is nothing new here. Net one, and now comes the repeat. Net two. One, two. Pro one. Net three. One, two, three. Pearl, net. Slip the marker and repeat. Net two, one, two, pearl one. Net three, one, two, three, pearl one. Net one and repeat two last two stitches ending with net one and net the last one. Row eight as per row two. Net one, pearl one, and now comes the repeat. Net one, pearl five, one, two. Three, four, five, net one, pearl one. Slip the marker and repeat. Net one, pearl five, two. Three, four, five, knit and purl. Knit and purl. And repeat two last stitch ending with knit one. So this is it. These eight rows create the pattern. Repeat them until the desired length is reached. When finished, you can bind off facing the right side of the work. You can bind off purlwise after a row eight, or you can bind off facing the wrong side of the work, working each stitch as it presents after a row seven. It's up to you. And that's everything for today my little Willie. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting!